Welcome back to Pesh Football, sometimes daily, the show where we discuss news from the world of football and just, yeah, vibe pretty much. The transfer window is like crack cocaine to a to a football fan. So you already know every single one of these shows is going to be discussing transfer rumors, transfers, all of that. So if you like that, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps more than you actually know for YouTubers. Don't just do it to me. Do it to all your favorite YouTubers, man. Hit the subscribe button for us. It means so much to us. Anyways, this transfer market is getting good, man. One day a player's linked here, the next day he's joining another club. And that's the case for Rafinha. Apparently a few days ago, Arsenal were putting bids in. We know for a long time, Barcelona have been trying to get him um, to sign with the club. They've been in talks with his agent, Deco. Yes, the player who used to play for Chelsea and Barcelona, the Portuguese legend. Um, is his agent now Barcelona have been trying to sign him for a second now the only thing with Rafinha to Arsenal that doesn't make that much sense to me is Arsenal have Bukayo Saka who's somewhat similar of a of a profile you know a player that likes the ball to feet likes to run at players 1v1 um, left footed oftentimes comes inside on his left foot to look to cross the ball in or gets shots off anyways that deal doesn't look like it's happening which isn't that big of a surprise to me obviously i would have been gassed but what's even more surprising to me is chelsea apparently have agreed a fee of around 60 million pounds plus add-ons for rafinha obviously you as a club you want to sign a top top player and Rafinha is that he's a top winger but does he really fit Chelsea's system that's something I kind of think about my thing is with Rafinha he's a player that likes to get the ball to feet in wider areas if you look at his heat map he's just he's on the line he's so wide so to me to see him link to Chelsea where their wingbacks kind of like to occupy that wider that wider channel so that's what so it's a bit confusing to me but i mean what a player he is 17 goals and 12 assists in 65 matches for leeds and the the one thing i do like about that link to chelsea is thomas tuchel likes his his his, his side to press you know play with a lot of energy out of possession like most modern clubs but rafinha really does fit that let me look up his stats look at i mean just look at these defensive stats I don't even need to say much to that. And you know, if, if a player was successful under Marcelo Bielsa, you're getting a player that works extremely hard in both phases. Anyways, that deal is not yet completed. Apparently Chelsea are, are leading the race right now, but Barcelona are trying to sign him. Arsenal probably are trying to sign him. I wouldn't be surprised if Arsenal throw another bid in there. Anyways, another player that would be a great option for most clubs that need a winger is Dan Juma. 45 million euros is the fee being discussed from Villarreal. That would be a statement signing for West Ham. He had 16 goals and five assists in all competitions last year, averaging 0.6 goals per 90 minutes, putting him fourth in La Liga. He's 25 years old. He's becoming a very fun player to watch. He's creative, he's skillful. He can take players on 1v1 in wider situations. He can crash the box and get on the end of crosses. He's versatile in the positions he can play. He can play out wide. He can play centrally. He was a big reason Villarreal made it to the semifinals of the Champions League. If West Ham get that deal done, that is a statement signing because he could be playing for most top clubs in Europe. The next player I want to discuss is Longley. Tottenham and Barcelona have apparently agreed a deal for Longley for a season long loan. Now, obviously this is a good deal for Tottenham and it fills a need, a defensive need. They need defenders, they need center backs. But what I really like about this transfer is his contract doesn't run out at Barcelona until 2026. And from Barcelona's perspective, one, you're getting wages off the books, but two, you're giving a player the opportunity to play and increase his value. And you know you're gonna be loaning him to Antonio Conte, a manager who has great defensive shape and structure and plays a back three, which let's be honest, probably will help Longley. So if he plays well, which he probably will under those circumstances, he's gonna be able to go back to Barcelona and Barcelona will be Barcelona will be receiving a player whose value is much stronger than it was this summer. Anyways, one transfer I'm so gassed about is Luka Jovic is finally leaving Real Madrid. Woo! Fiorentina has come in and absolutely saved my boy. He's being loaned out to Fiorentina. We saw what happened with Vlaovic, both Serbian. I don't even know if that link matters, but I know there is a player in Luka Jovic. He's still only 24. And like, if you just look at his game... There's, for me, there's not one weakness. I just want this man to play games. I just want this man to play games and I know he can reach a high level, bro. 
Luka Jovic is still that guy for me. No one can tell me, no one could tell me otherwise. Luka Jovic is still that guy. I'm holding on to that, man. I love him so much. He can do everything. When he's confident, when he's playing under the manager that gives him confidence, when he's playing games and scoring goals, he can do everything. He can strike the ball with either foot. He can drop into midfield, play with his back to goal. He's super, he's strong. He can win things in the air. Look, this man's a baller on his day. And he just hasn't been given that opportunity. I mean, bro, and what do you expect though either? This man was trying to break into the team with Kareem Benzema. That's impossible. So finally, my man is leaving to Fiorentina. Thank the Lord. Another player that's finally getting moved is Cheek Ducouré. Crystal Palace have apparently agreed an 18 million pound deal with Lens. This is a player who I actually scouted two years ago, almost two years ago now, and I absolutely love him. He's 22 years old. He's kind of known for his defensive ability, but what I really like about him is his ability on the ball, progressing the ball forward. He's not someone that's gonna get you a lot of goals from midfield, but he's very comfortable in possession and on the ball. And in the Premier League, if you combine that with strength and power and ability out of possession to win the ball back, you have a very solid Premier League player. I think Cheek Ducouré is gonna come into the Premier League and absolutely smash it. Crystal Palace know how to do business. Recently, their scouting and recruitment has been spot on. I mean, Michael Oliz, you have Eze, you have Cheek Ducore coming in, Guayhi, you know, Joachim Anderson. I'm very excited to watch Patrick Vieira and Crystal Palace develop over the next few years. And honestly, see who else they bring in because Cheek Ducore for me is one of the most exciting transfers this summer, personally, because I have this personal connection with them. Now we got to talk about Javi Simmons a little bit as well. Obviously, grew up in La Masia Academy, went to PSG on a free transfer. I think it was a free transfer. And then his contract at PSG ran out. Now, it was being reported that he was going to sign a new deal with PSG, but he's going to PSV. PSG, PSV. I'm actually excited about it. This is a player that's been hyped up for so long and a player that for me has been overhyped, you know, and I hate saying that about a player, but it's low key true everyone hypes him up what i like about this transfer is i think it's so hard to break into a team like psg and you're coming into a point in your career where you're 19 years old and you need to be playing week in week out signing for psv on a free transfer was the right decision for javi simmons for me he's gonna go back to the netherlands where he's from where he's born and hopefully just get games get comfortable because we all know he's a talented footballer but we haven't even really been able to see him play and so it's going to be really interesting seeing him actually play finally anyways let me know what you think about these transfers in the comments down below or any transfers you want to see happen this window make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel again it truly helps me out i will catch you in the next video thanks for watching peace out